Roll Taco here. Hopefully your day is going well. I just wanted to share with you uh, when I was on my way back here what I was observing um, on some dandelions. And uh, the rain has passed. The sun's coming out. It's working its way out. So, uh, and this was before the rain. I was on my way back and I was observing the dandelions and I said, just kind of went closer and there was an ant on there just um, going to town and doing what ants do. And it was just really like it was digging down into the flower of the dandelion and like just trying to get the nectar, the nutrients out. I've seen bees do that. I haven't seen an ant do that. Um, but, and also right next to it, there was another dandelion that had multiple ants on it, much smaller ants. So I did a, two short videos, um, about a minute and a half each of each dandelion. No talking, just observing what the ants are doing, uh, what, letting nature take its course. So I thought that was pretty cool. We here at Raw Taco have done uh, other videos where we've done our green juice and we went out in the yard and picked the dandelions and put it in there, the dandelion greens, and also uh, put them on a salad, dandelion flowers. So um, because they're great nutritional value, they're great for detoxing, detoxifying, it's the way they create it, um, all things um, to work for our body, especially the seed bearing plants and the trees um, for the nutrients to get into our bodies. And today we got way, whole lot of detoxants in, in our environment that dandelions are good to help pull that out. Juicing's the best way, but also eating will work as well. So, um, and also I wanted to connect that with what God says about um, ants in the Bible. And uh, I'm gonna read out of the NIV um, Bible. Uh, there's many versions out there. This is one of them. And also this particular Bible I read doesn't have chapters and verses. It has indications at the bottom because the Bible when it was written wasn't written without chapters and verses. It was written as a letter, as a book, as a proverb, as a psalm. And the Bible is literally just a collection of books. So, um, and, and with my faith, I believe it is truly God's word and I trust it. And uh, so I just wanna read that, what I found in Proverbs. It says, and it's Proverbs 30. So I just recommend getting the Bible, reading the whole proverb, um, and you'll catch this part in it. Plus there'll be a lot of other uh, good uh, um, spiritual nurturing. So it says, four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, ants are extremely small and they're extremely wise. I don't know if you've ever taken time to just observe ants. I've done it since I was a little boy. And um, just observe them. They're, they're amazing how they just follow order and they accomplish what their task is aiming for. Um, just the way they were created to be. So uh, with that said, I recommend you uh, looking up a friend um, and seeing if they have a Bible, that if you don't have one, and uh, see if they have a Bible that you can borrow or maybe they'll give it to you. And also um, uh, most or a good portion of the churches throughout the country in America here will give you a Bible um, to make it readily available for you. So uh, I would encourage to seek that out and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video and catch up with the other two small videos just to observe nature at its course. And uh, we'll talk to you.